Doing every car is a challenge. The car has to drive well, be safe, be very, very functional. And then as well, you want that it is attractive and it has a high value. Welcome to the next episode of Explore Škoda podcast. My name is Vašek Polcar and today we are in top secret Škoda Auto facility. We're going to show you the brand new Škoda Kodiak from interior. And for that, we got here head of interior design, Peter Olach. Peter, let's tell me, please, what does it mean to be the head of interior design? What, what are your responsibilities? Well, head of interior design means a couple of departments. First mm -hmm. of all, I would start, we have to define the interior strategies. Okay. Then interior architecture means how the volume is distributed in the interior. What is the interaction with the physical controllers? What about components like a steering mm -hmm. wheel, controllers, seats, all that? Then next department would be UX UI, user experience, user interface. So basically, how do I interact with the product? And then one very important, which I would say bring life to the product is color mm -hmm. and trim. So materials, colors, structures, all that. And then very, very important, small department, uh, nevertheless with a high responsibility is so-called feasibility. Means if we have finished okay. design, we have to bring it up to the production. So fine tune all technical details, technical issues, make it feasible, make it workable. And uh, this is the feasibility department. And now we're going to meet also your whole team. Is well, that right? Yeah, sure. That was a surprise I prepared mm -hmm. for you. I have today with me the whole team. So I have Lukas Vanek, who is responsible for interior strategies mm -hmm. and visions. Then I have Dimitrios Darkodis, head of interior architecture. Then I have Federico Fachini, head of UX UI department. Katka Vranova, leading the department of colors and materials. Mm -hmm. And then Jan Jedek, responsible for the feasibility. They all are experts, real experts, and I really believe you will have a lot of fun with them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's meet them. And right now I'm sitting here with uh, Kate Vranova. Hi, Kate. Hi, Vasek. Kate, so please tell me, what are your responsibilities in Škoda Interior? So I am head of the color and trim department. Uh, I guess you're going to have to tell me what does it mean, because well, I don't know. Color and trim, so we are actually responsible for all materials and for all colors for the interior and also for the exterior. Okay, okay. And uh, I have several questions on you. And my first one is because this one seems like very luxury, very luxury. How many trim levels are there in a, mm -hmm. in a new So Korea? in total, we have four different variants, mm -hmm. four different interiors. And actually this one is the highest one mm -hmm. and it's called Sweet and in the cognac version. So this okay. nice uh, cognac color. Okay, brownish. so my luxury feeling was right. Yes, mm -hmm. you were right. Other thing on my mind is that I'm feeling really pretty good in those seats and I love the smell of the new car. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to ask also, I know of course that uh, Škoda Auto uh, handles big with uh, sustainability. That's right. Can you tell me about that? How, how are you doing that? Well, actually, um, our team or my team, we are really like focusing on the sustainable materials for a longer time. Uh, for the first time, we introduced like more sustainable mat materials in Enyaq mm -hmm. and for Kodiak Nachfolger, all the, for example, all the textiles, including these headliners are from recycled polyester. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's the way. Other thing I would like to ask you, uh, is there any favorite part or some favorite thing you like in the interior? Well, there are a lot, but particularly I'm quite proud of the bringing this X stitching mm -hmm. as a, for the first time for the Kodiak, for the SUV. We really think that it's perfectly fitting to the SUV character and also to the new design language, modern solid. Kate, and tell me, please, are there some very, very news that haven't been in any other model of Škoda for your department color mm -hmm. and trim in the interior? Yeah, absolutely. Like, first of all, I mentioned already the X stitching, which mm -hmm. is on the, on the dashboard and also in the door handles. Then for the first time we are going out from the chrome shiny surfaces. We are having this special unique dark chrome paint, mm -hmm. which is really like a matte, perfectly matching to the SUV character and also to the modern solid design language. Then all the textiles, 
including the headliners, carpets and the textile mm -hmm. seats are from the recycled polyester. In one level, we are also using combination of the textile and wool, uh, wool yarns, which we introduced same uh, as uh, for Enyaq. Mm -hmm. And then the all leathers are ecologic tanned leather. Nice work. I must say, really, uh, the dark chrome you said it's called? Unique dark chrome. Unique dark chrome, I'm sorry. It's really great because I don't see any fingerprints and that's what I pretty like, actually. That's great, yeah. Good looking and good feeling. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. It was really nice to talk to you. Thanks a lot. So, and the next one to me is uh, Lukáš Vanik. Hi. Hi, Lukáš. Hi, Vašik. Hi. Nice to meet you. So, Lukáš, tell me about your responsibilities, about your job in Škoda Interiors. My position is basically creative influencer, so I'm working as an interior designer, but also I'm trying to bring the new ideas, mm -hmm. new inspiration, and as well I'm trying to connect the team, which is working as well in this interior, so I'm trying to connect HMI, color and trim together, that every idea basically is at the end implemented into this car. Okay, so I can say that uh, you are responsible for all the digital things I'm seeing right now here. Yes, exactly. Especially in this car, I was in, uh, responsible to bring this HMI concept into this new interior of Kodiak. Mm -hmm. Well, and when I'm looking on the central display, I must admit it's huge. Is it because of the trends or so the user has it more like friendly? Oh, let's be a little bit general. I want to explain you like what is the overall concept. Mm -hmm. So here you can see 10 inch display in front of mm -hmm. you. So I think it's enough big to show really every infotainment information and it has really beautiful resolution. Then we are having in the same line, basically 13 inch display, which is easy to operate, easy to see. So when you are driving, you don't need to have a look too much down so you can stay concentrated on the road. And here, this in, this display is nicely sitting on this deco part, so you have also support for your uh, hand. So mm -hmm. while you are operating the display, when you are driving, it's more uh, safer. And then I will come to this one, which is, I think, the highlight of this interior. Is okay. This is the smart dials. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, when I was touching it before, it's it can get round and I can press it, mm -hmm. but also it's got a LCD display in it. Is it right? So yeah. tell me about that, please. Yes. Basically, these smart dials, they are coming from our past. If you remember in the past, we had these free rotary controls, but they were really simple mm -hmm. and they did not have any smart additional functionality. Here in this case, we are combining basically the advantages of this digital world together with the haptical controller. So they are offering not only Klima functions, but as well additional functions inside. Okay, so me as a driver, I can choose if I want to use the display or the, let's call it, old school touch button. We were a lot thinking about what is the most important to control here and here. And we decided basically mostly for the Klima functions to bring the functionality here. So you are operating on these two rotary controllers, mostly the temperature, and then seed hinting and seed ventilation. But the best is basically this middle one, which is smart. It's connected with the content on the screen. So when you basically press, you can change which functionality you can operate. So either it could be volume, driving profile, okay. or in case you have a map here, you can easily map zoom or change the, for example, now air in ventilation as we have it here now. Okay. Lukáš, what I also haven't seen in any other Škoda, the gear shifter and mm -hmm. the handbrake, they are on totally different places. You're right. It's uh, for the first time. And the reason is that we wanted to, of course, offer more space and practicability here in the middle console. So that's why we replace the shifter here behind the steering wheel and as well the handbrake. Mm -hmm. And this allows us to here offer more simply clever solutions, place for two phones mm -hmm. and also bigger cup holders. Good. Less things in a pocket and more in a car. Perfect. Good. And what I have to say to you, Lukash, you know what I like? I like the design. Perfect. <laughs> That's the perfect. Thanks to you. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Okay.
Okay, so the next member of the team is Dimitri Darkudis. Did I say it right? You said it very well. Perfectly. Thank you. Hi, Dimitri. Hi, pleased to meet you. Dimitri, you are the head of interior architecture. Yes. I'm saying that right? Yes. Tell me, because I don't know what does do you have to know for this job. Tell me about it. Tell me about the job. Tell me how the things are done, please. Well, for the job description is relatively easy. Uh, Chief of Interior Architecture means basically the person who takes care of uh, the main shapes of the interior, mm -hmm. what we okay. see here. Uh, bar, uh, color and trim, which is not my responsibility, as well as HMI, uh, basically the content of mm -hmm. the, the digital content, which is also not my responsibility. Main shapes, what we see okay. all around, is my I like responsibility. I like the shape, actually. Yeah, it's actually, a it's a very nice shape. Inside. Shall we discuss it That's a bit? Good. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How long does it take uh, bef before you make something like this? Before before it uh, goes to your mind? First of all, we start with the main architecture of the car. So, uh, as you can see, the Kodiak is a very, very nice space to be mm. here and sit mm -hmm, inside. Mm -hmm. It feels so comfortable, but also very safe. Mm -hmm. You can see here, actually, that the main architecture of the car is symmetrical, and this is something that we are always doing in Skoda. The reason for that is because we always value in Skoda uh, the, uh, the people as equals. So mm -hmm. we want that everybody has the same feeling in the interior. Mm -hmm. This is very important for us. Second, now the car. Uh, the main theme of the car, which is this double island, as you can see in front okay. of you, is actually a spiritual car carryover of the previous car. The previous mm -hmm. very successful um, Kodiak also had a very similar theme. Mm -hmm. However, here, this theme is set in inside this beautiful wraparound, which is created exactly by this material that you mentioned before. Oh, okay. The reason why we choose this material is exactly to create this nice wraparound where we set in the theme of the car. The reason for that is that now our new design criteria is a modern solid, coal mm -hmm. is called modern solid. And one of the design criteria is basically to create a feeling of safety and mm -hmm. a feeling of security for the passengers. And therefore, we put the main theme of the car inside the surrounding that surrounds okay. the passengers uh, and gives this feeling of security. Now, um, talking about the displays, as you can see, actually now the displays of this car, they are totally new. Mm -hmm. uh, very different from the predecessor. We have a freestanding big uh, digital cockpit in front of the driver, as well as Which a much... Which pretty good. <laughs> I'm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. And in the middle, you can see now also a much, much bigger screen, mm -hmm. uh, the head unit, as we call it, basically the main display and of the car. I'm sorry, may I ask you, uh, sure. the size of this screen, is it uh, just because of the modern trends, or is it so you can orient better in it, or...? Um, the modern tre trends also come from somewhere and of mm -hmm. course this is the reason why you always have it. The content becomes more and more busy and therefore of course you need to have more real estate. Okay, and also my last question is, mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, safety and security mm -hmm. because I'm a father of a four-year-old boy. Do you have, because of the shapes and everything, do you have also considered that it breaks somehow? Do you have also considered the safety? Of course, but the safety is always considered in the car. Of course, we have very stringent safety regulations mm -hmm. when we design the car. Uh, this, of course, is always a very good co um, collaboration between designers and engineers. Okay. That we always have always these inputs from the engineers, how we should design the car in order to always have it safe. You see, actually, that everything has to be soft, everything has to be... Uh, with specific radiuses, as well as no parts should be flying around the car in case of an accident, etc., etc. Dimitri, I, my other question is, I have read and now I see them, the smart dials. Are they also part of your job, of your, of your team? Certainly. The smart dials are mainly part of the HMI team in the way how they work. However, as um, volumes as, and as hardware, basically it comes from our department mm -hmm. as well. We are responsible for the optic of the hardware, as you can see, the actual button basically, without the content of the display, okay. as well as all the nice detail. And also we put a lot of effort in the way that how it works, when you rotate it, the feeling that it has in the car, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Well, me hearing you, I hmm? think you are really the man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Dimitri. <laughs> Thank you very nice. much as well. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, I can't say that wasn't interesting at all. That was great. But, Peter, let's tell me. Is there some? Is there any part that's your favorite part in interior? But for me, by the Kodiak, the most liked is how we change the interaction model. Mm -hmm. So basically, how do you interact with the touchscreen 
How do you interact with the physical controllers and all models of this interaction, you know? My vision is uh, so-called natural user interface, means when I want to interact with the product, I do it in a way how it is natural to me. If I want to touch something, I touch it. If I need a feedback and spontaneous feedback, I do it with a mechanical mm -hmm. controller. Sometimes gesture is enough. Sometimes I can talk to the product like to a person. So this is really a vision for the future of control system. And I would say with the Kodiak, we made a first step towards to that. Okay, I, I felt pretty great in the interior. And also, I want to ask you, was there any like big challenge for you in the interior? Was something really like challenging? You know, doing every car is a challenge because you have an expectation of customers mm -hmm. and then you have a sort of budget that they are ready to pay for the product. Mm -hmm. And you need to blend them in a, in a good mm -hmm. way, you know? So the product has to be, has to have really high technical qualities. The car has to drive well, be safe, be very, very functional. And then as well, you want that it is attractive and it has a high value. And by the Kodiak, I really believe we manage that. If you sit in the interior, you are really surrounded by the high value materials. And that is really what counts for the customer at the end of the day. Honestly, Peter, I believe that I'm the customer and I really had that feeling. I felt pretty great in the interior and thank you for it. it was Great job. Yeah, that's great to hear. It was a pleasure today. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. So that's it for this episode. But don't forget, watch us next time because we are going to have the world premiere of the Škoda Kodiak in Berlin, Germany. Text us, write us in the comments. We will answer you and see you next time. Bye.